What happens when you ask your internet service provider to send over a list of every website you've ever visited and every web search you've ever done? Can you or your other half or your parents even get a list of everything that you've been up to online? Well, there is good news and uh, <clears throat> bad uh -oh. news. Let's start off with the bad news. There seems to be a lot of nervous people out there after I uploaded a video showing how incognito isn't as private as you think. Whatever you're up to remains between you and your favorite streaming website. Nobody needs to know. Nobody's gonna know. They're gonna know. You certainly don't want to leave a trace of your activity for other family members to find out. Awkward. So, is there a reason to be uh, concerned? Like ripping off a band-aid, I'm gonna do this quickly. Your internet service provider does keep records of everything. Everything. I mean, think about it. In order to provide you with internet access, it needs to know who you are and the fact that you are actually allowed to be on their network. They also need to know how much data you're currently consuming, especially those ISPs that have a data usage cap. They need to know your IP address so they know where to send all that data to. So in other words, they know. In the US, it seems like ISPs have to keep our activities for a period of time. Now, depends who you ask, this varies from 90 days to one year. But what is interesting is that even after that time period expires, ISPs seem to be allowed to keep some of that data. At the very least, they keep your IP address and a date and a timestamp, whilst other data is kind of anonymized. So basically, if you've been up to something very dodgy online, the authorities can ask your internet service providers to reveal who you are. These rules seem to be similar in Europe, although GDPR may have changed that. But obviously, I'm not a lawyer, so do your own research as your internet service provider may be different. So they have this info. Does that mean you are screwed? Does that mean that you can request this info as a customer? Well, hit that subscribe button and I will tell you. Remember that bit about good news, bad news? We've had the bad news, here is some good news. Oh, and speaking of good news, don't forget I have partnered up with My Computer Works to help answer your technical question for free, no credit card, no catch. All you're gonna do is hit the link in the description below and ask your question. It could be about Wi-Fi, it could be about setting up your phone, it could be about an error that you're getting on your computer and you're just frustrated or stuck or simply don't wanna do it yourself. Hit the link in the description below, type in your question and they'll get back to you within 24 hours just as a way of saying thank you for being here on this channel. I am in the US and I use Spectrum as my internet service provider. So I logged into the website, opened up the support chat and I asked them specifically, will you give me a copy of my web browsing history or the website that I visited? And the answer was simply no. As you can see, currently we do not keep logs of websites that are accessed whilst using your Spectrum internet network. So I pushed back one more time and just to double check and they confirmed, no, they do not have access. And it's not just Spectrum. I chatted with other internet service providers and the answer was always the same. No, they will not supply you with that. But, and of course there's gonna be a but here, if you or your parents installed some sort of a internet security suite which come free with a lot of these internet service providers or enabled logging options on your home router, then I'm afraid, well, it's not looking good for you. So you can breathe a sigh of relief knowing that whilst your internet service provider has the information, the likelihood of them giving it to you, the account holder, or to somebody else in your household without a really good case or a legal obligation to do that is highly unlikely. Of course, to really protect your info online, you should be using a VPN. You know that by now. Check out this video over here where I compare the top 10 VPNs. Or oh, check out this video over here that YouTube thinks you should watch. Hit that subscribe button if you like this tech stuff made simple. And I will see you in this video or this video or both. I'll see you in both. Let's go.